What's up, guys? Welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching. Just wonderful journey from this is Jungle Entertainment. I'll give you all these of the old trains that happen in Nigeria, Africa, and the world over. If you are new here, please be kind enough to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so as to be notified when we upload all new trains. So much has been happening in the entertainment industry. We have good news and we have bad news too. But let us start with good news. Everybody wants to listen to good news. Yeah, the Udogu himself, Bonner Boy, the giant of Africa. We know recently Bonner Boy lost his Grammy Award. He was nominated for, nominated for two Grammy Awards. He had two Grammy nominations, but he didn't come home with any. And congratulations to Thames for winning the Grammy Award. But see, talking about Bonner Boy, he won another award. Sound City MVP Award Festival because to the Dogu himself, Bonner Boy won Sound City MVP Artist of the Year Award. Big ups and congratulations to Odogu. Well, see, talking about those who went to with awards at the just concluded uh, Sound City MVP Award Festival. Congratulations to, to Ruga. Ruga. I mean, I love his song as well. That song has been making waves. That Ruga received his award for Best New Act at the Sound City MVP Award Festival. And also, it's Daniel and Alaji Techno. They won an award for the song Buga that Buga, which is the title of the song, wins Song of the Year at Sound City MVP Awards. Kudos to all the artists who went so smiling from ear to ear with awards. I uh, see talking about the um the awards, uh, the Sound City Award that just ended. Congratulations to Black Sheriff for winning the best hip hop at Sound City MVP Award. Kudos, these artists really deserve all this award. They they did their best. I mean, they'll be giving us vibe. It's not easy. I mean, the industry is super competitive right now. So, coming home with an award is a huge blessing. Now, see, talking about the uh, awards, we have this news that's been trending on the on 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 uh, Twitter. Well, let me just go to trends on Twitter and bring out the stuff that have been trending. One of the stuff that have been trending on Twitter is Bonaboy. That Pray for Bonaboy. But before we go into that, uh, let us talk about other things. Let's uh, talk about AKA, as you can see. Not AKA, we have this bad news. It's bad news indeed that one of the hottest rappers in South Africa, AKA, that he lost his life. That gunmen, unknown gunmen everywhere, he was attacked. He was, uh, I mean, when when he celebrated his uh, 35th birthday, he was hanging out with some friends. And all of a sudden, gunmen attacked and killed him and his best friend. The guy was his manager and he later became a chef. He changed his uh, career path and became a chef. He was shot dead at the spot and his best friend was also shot dead at the, at the spot. But his um, bodyguard or you know, security man, he was just injured. And other people in the group were, were they, they, they sustained injury. I mean, that came as a bad news indeed. This guy is still young. He just celebrated his 35th birthday. And we just got up to that bad news that he was shot in Dubai in South Africa. People really need to stop this. And we, we can still remember what happened to take off that he was shot in, in the United States. I mean, we should keep bringing in good news, not I mean bad news or you know, importing bad habits. That is not good at all. This guy has been doing very well. We're still talking about the trends. Uh, pray for uh, pray for Bonner Boy. Well, we'll come to that. Why? When I saw this, I was like, what is happening? Why is it that people are asking, you know, for prayers for Bonaboy? It sounded very weird, as if something terrible has happened to Bonaboy. Hashtag pray for Bonaboy. And when I saw this, someone dropped this message that this needs to stop. In an attempt to split outsiders for their Grammy lose, just like they did Whiskey FC. Friends, pray for Bonaboy that they got millions of nigerians scared i was really scared when i read this i was like what happened this guy was nominated recently for um for the grammys and and the grammys rather happened a few days ago though he, he didn't go home with it now do nigeria have been backlashing him sending him messages especially you know we know Bonabo doesn't have so many fans in nigeria like he has outside the shores of africa well, still talking about this, uh, so let me read out a comment for you. Someone said, been days now, and bro still never come online. He never still congratulate them. Is he still crying or what? Or more, we gasp, pray for Bonaboy. Wow. 
someone someone actually posted it that uh, Bravo didn't win a Grammy Award and he didn't congratulate Thames that came home with a, 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 a Grammy Award that is like Bonap Boy is crying or he's not feeling well so we should pray for Bonap Boy come on man come on I think we, we are bigger than that as a country well but whether that is social media you know Nigeria we love social media we play a lot on the media see talking about the trending tweets let me read some for you about Bonaboy. someone said news have it that Bonaboy has been extremely sick since the grammy loss i seriously hence the reason he's been off social media our prayers are with him and his family <laughs> that's what i pray for bona and i say breaking singer Bonaboy has not gotten out of his bedroom eating nor spoken to any family member since the grammy loss that's what i pray for Bonaboy. another one said when i came online i saw this hashtag pray for Bonaboy trending fear don't grip my heart but then I remember this is probably the handiwork of FC. And as soon as I clicked on the trend topic, I wasn't wrong. Have you prayed for yourself? Shaking my head. We really need to pray for ourselves, especially with the drama that will be going on in our country, Nigeria, right now. Bonaboy is doing just fine. But I think you should send a message, a congratulatory message to Thames. Yeah, because when he, he won a Grammy, uh, other artists like, uh, you know, the likes of the video, they actually sent Bonaboy a congratulatory message. He really needs to send one to Thames. Well, see, talking about the um, awards, award nights, I saw this. By the way, can you rock this? This is Sam Smith's, Sam Smith's outfit for Brits 2023. Like, seriously? Bros, can you rock this? <laughs> if it becomes a trend, can you put that on? Well, the comments was open for you to drop them who came home with a Grammy Award. Biggest and congratulations to Thames. We have this good news. Do I say it's good news? Well, let me read that for you. That American rapper feature sends beautiful flowers and a note to Thames after their Grammy win. The note reads, accept this token of beauty as a thank you for being the best part of our Grammy Award winning song. This is just the beginning. Well deserved. Now, when I when I when I read this, I read other comments. Netizens were just attacking future. I think we know Nigeria is a funny country. We don't joke with social media. Netizens, especially in Nigeria, were just saying, "Ah, future, I beg back where? Leave, let Thames be. Yes, Thames is a super musician. She'll be doing songs with Drake. She has done his songs with uh, Whiskey. She'll be doing very well. And she just won a Grammy with the song she did with um, Future." and rumor let me phrase that has it that future has an interest in terms and when i did a, a finding about future i discovered that future has eight kids he has eight children right now from eight different women and there was this uh, um, interview a few months ago where future said yeah that one day he will get married that is it is in him or is his uh, vision to get married one day and have maybe three kids with his wife because future is not married right now and he has eight kids from eight different women well for all the music lovers out there do you think um things will be a good match for future like imagine future marrying things or uh, yeah future with things <laughs> what do you have to say regarding that please the comments is just open for you to drop back when everybody is right whatever i say now let us move on to the United States of America. There's a drama happening too about Donald Trump and Rihanna. We know Rihanna is uh, Rihanna is set to perform at the NFL. From the desk of Donald Trump, he dropped this message that without her stylist, she would be nothing, but everything, and no talent. Well, Donald Trump, and after Donald Trump said this, said this, he was receiving hits. After insulting Rihanna on social media, we know Rihanna will do very well. She'll be dropping hit songs, and she's now a, 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 a you know billionaire with her Fenty product. She sells good stuff, and she just gave birth to a, a beautiful baby with her uh, uh, with her lover, Esa Rocky. And we don't know why Donald Trump decided to backlash Rihanna and. Twitter users have been backlashing. The well, country. let's come back home to our blood country, Nigeria. So much drama has been happening in the country. We should remember that we have few days to the election. Few days to the election. No, it used to be, have you gotten your voter's card? Now it's like, 
the question that's trending is who will be the next president of the country or who are you going to vote for on the list like the top five we have one Paso, we have Sore, we have uh uh Atikwa Bubaka, we have Bola Tinibu, and we have Peter Obi. Who are you going to vote for? Well, just keep it to yourself. I'm not asking you to tell me. Now, talking about the drama that's been going on in the country, on the desk of um, uh, Senator Sheo Sani, he dropped this message and I just laughed. That said, the commercial banks are holding the new notes because that's what has been in Nigeria. We buy Naira with Naira. That the CBN should allocate the notes to the police to share to the public. Like, seriously, does that make sense? Well, after all, the police is our friend. Now, talking about the drama that happened in Lagos recently uh, at the Peter Obi's uh, presidential campaign, it was lit. It was definitely lit. I saw so many video clips. I even posted some shots. You can check them out. Now, the um, the, the people in the uh, PDP, the wings of uh, PDP, they were saying everything is photoshopped. We don't even know what else to to uh, believe in this country. We we'll see video and they will say it's fake. Well, uh, talking about that, what we really know is this picture that's been trending that at Peter Obi's Lagos rally, yes, today that this young boy stood in front of his moving convoy and raised his hand to show his love and support for the presidential candidate. This single act has melted the hearts of a lot of Nigerians with them asking for his whereabouts and his phone number and even his bank account number. And they have promised him a lot of cash and a smartphone. To top it all, Governor Chief Prince himself has vowed to change his life by making him a millionaire. That was a huge one. I mean, this picture, this this is like the picture of Vice the decades. Well, let me just leave it to, to this year so far. This is like the hottest picture of the year. I mean, people really want obedient uh, uh, of uh, Peter B. Connors is president of the Federal Republic of, of Nigeria, especially the youth. With the drama we are going through, we Nigerians are, I mean, Nigerians are not happy. PDP didn't give us what we expected, and APC, no, they didn't give us what we hoped for. They promised us change, the change was in the negative direction. And recently, the president just came up online and said uh, that he has fulfilled all his promises. He told us infrastructure. We see we are still having bad roads. We don't have any airline to our name. We don't have electricity. We see we are still having power issues. Everything is just as it was. But he, he said he has fulfilled his promises. <laughs> Nigeria. Well, see, talking about the um, P2B rally that happened in uh, Lagos, some people were attacked. Some obedience servants, well, let me phrase it that way, they were attacked. And for the desk of he said, I received reports that four members of the BDM family were attacked and injured in Lagos ahead of yesterday's rally. That that incident, premeditated or not, is deeply troubling. Such acts stand vehemently condemned. We cannot continue to tolerate attacks on members of the political opposition, often fueled by the often fueled by the incendiary rhetorics of political leaders. The new Nigeria that we seek is one founded on peace and justice and the respect for the rule of law. I call on the Lagos State Security Agencies to fish out those responsible for the attack. Well, we find it from the desk of Mr. Peter Obi. Really needs to sit up as a country. Thank you guys for watching this wonderful channel. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so as to notify whenever we upload hot new content. See you guys soon. Thank <laughs> you.